Okay, let's play B4 again. I'm gonna try to push all my pawns. Let's see, can I get to 10 moves? I can probably get to 10 pawn moves, right? Again, let's keep going. I want to make as many pawn moves as I can. That's 12. Can I get to 15? Okay, I'll try to get to 20. Let's see, can I get to 20? Take and take, and if it takes, I take, and if it takes, 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 we need two. Come on! Oh my god! That is why now you resign sometimes. Oh, voila. I didn't even have to make any moves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, let's, let's continue with disrespect. London system is, is pretty decent, um, but it's like you get so hard set on like certain development, uh, starting with certain development that it's just not, not great. Um, a collab with Pokey, yeah. Well, she played Pog Champs 2, I think it was, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna go Queenie 2. I'm just gonna show some pure disrespect. I'm just gonna move my king. I don't even care. This guy's so bad that I can do anything and win. Including just, like, showing everybody how to break all the basic rules of chess. Okay, I don't know what that is. That's just not smart. I mean, he was supposed to play Queen H4, and now he hangs a pawn, hangs a queen. Again, not how you get it done. Not how you get it done. Are they working on new pog champs? I don't know, you guys. Um, let's go e5, maybe bishop d3 or something. Let's go for the Foosley checkmate against Elrob. I think it was Elrob, right? Yep. And just like Elrob, chess with falls right into it. I think there's a Processo leak for the $3. Um, okay, this is disrespectful because I'm going to just trade all the pieces off. Oh, nice try, dude. That's a big cheese. But now I go for go for the fork. Oh, uh, really? 1,200 is that bad at chess? Disappointing. Let's play the Fred. Or actually, no, let's play the Colorado Gambit. This is apparently... It normally goes E4, Knight 6, Knight F3, F5. But let's play the Colorado Gambit. Someone was smoking something when they came up with this idea. That, that's for sure. Let's go Knight F6 here. Now I get great development. Do I have conjunctivitis? I don't know what that means. Let's go bishop c5. I'm not a doctor. Just like I'm not a data scientist. Ha ha ha. Um, okay. B3, I will just castle here and play rookie eight. Um, uh, let's, let's go check. <laughs> uh, let's play rookie eight here. Oh, an eye infection? No, I don't have any eye infections, no. Although, although, jokes aside, I have a feeling that my uh, my vision has gotten worse since I started streaming nonstop. I will say that. I think, like, when, when I was in Toronto looking at menus, for some reason, the, the fonts look really, really tiny. So, that is the, the one unfortunate thing. Things are Orte Gaming for the nine months. Appreciate it. But, um, yeah. Let's go Bishop B2. I could just be getting old. Okay, this dude's going for the four move checkmate. What a clown. Um... Just tiny non-American menus, right? Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toronto is known for having small menu fonts. I actually didn't know that. Really? I had no idea. That's Is that for real? Old at 31? No, I'm uh, I'm 27, you guys. So, uh, not quite there yet. Okay, I've got a... I'm going to take a... I'm going to get a big, 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 big white center here. Target the queen. What we call tempo in Italiano. You attack the queen. Go d4. Attack the bishop. More tempo. Bishop d3. Attack the queen. More more tempo. Or g1. More tempo. Attack the queen. 27 or 37? No, I'm not 37, you guys. If I, if I, if I was 37, um, that would be scary. More tempo, tempi, yes, you guys. But we're here in America. We speak American. Um, so I will say it however I wish to say it. Take on the U.S. buying Alaska back in the day. Wasn't that a great purchase by the U.S.? Didn't they buy it? Isn't it, like, worth, like... Wasn't that a 100x return for buying the state of Alaska? 
I think it was. I think it was like 100, 100x return. Thanks for the mana move for the three, Zutra for the three, and Demachi for the six months. Thank you so much. What state do I live in? I don't live in Alaska. Alaska is actually, I think, one of only two states I've never been in. Um, so I need to go. I need to go to uh, go, go there some point. Um, I can just trap the queen. Classic puzzle rush here. But yeah, yeah. There goes the queen. Not even 10% of that. I thought Alaska was a was a great buy. I, I read an article, it's been years now, but I remember reading an article about it. I could have sworn that I thought they said that it was like a, it was a it was a really really good buy. Although who knows cuz it's with uh with like inflation and like, you know, all that other stuff what the actual price was in modern dollars. Who knows? I want to smother me, but I don't think I can. So I'm just going to go for a uh, double stack me instead. Or no, actually I can. Ooh, this is beautiful. Checkmate. You guys paid 7.2 7. million, which is 140 million. It's a 58 billion industry. Yeah, that's a, a ridiculously good buy. How am I doing today? I'm doing pretty well, actually. Feel, feeling pretty good. Oh, it's about 158 million current dollars, but isn't the economy 150 billion? That seems pretty cheap to me. Seems like a good buy. Let's play a Banco Gambit. When did Jimmy Canty become a GM? He's not a GM. Um, he's going to go for Bishop G3 cheese, but I'm just going to go Rook G1 and end the game instead. Am I planning to buy the Washington Commanders? Yeah, you guys. Thank you for that suggestion. Play the king move or don't call us disrespect. I moved my king already. Bishop G3 is a smart try. Yeah, let's take the knight, take the rook. Jerome Gambit. I could do that, obviously. Depends... But I don't think the Jerome Gambit is all that disrespectful because it's actually just a good opening. I've, I've beaten GMs with an actual Blitz game, so I consider it to be a completely reasonable opening. Am I participating in the World Rapid and Blitz Championship? Probably, but I want more details and there's other stuff too. I mean, we'll see. Go check, collect the Knight. You beat it. You beat GMs with almost any opening. Um, well. That's just because the that's that's just because that's that's the power of being a pro streamer and not actually wasting my life playing chess. Let's just take the pawn. I think it's just that Wimesy for the prime. Thank you so much. Okay, let's play the grob. Some disrespect. He's gonna go for no, he doesn't play queen h5, so I'll just play h5. Stop stop him from developing his queen. Who's the toughest SEC opponent um, apart from Magnus? I mean, I think all the players are good. The gap is getting smaller and smaller. I mean, that's what sucks about getting old. I mean, as well as being a professional streamer instead of playing chess professionally, is that the gap is closing. Like, all these people are getting better and better. Like, Noterbeck, for example, very, very good player. I really like Noterbeck's style. Noterbeck has only one real problem, as I see it, which is that he doesn't know how to get up um, for... Actually, I should. I, he, he doesn't know how to find the motivation against the players who are in his rating range I should say uh like that's his only issue when he when he's playing against like Magnus or myself he's like all revved up he's like really he's really into it and you can see like how motivated how passionate he is but I feel like when he's playing players who are like 2680 2690 in his rating range it's like he's still a great player but I don't feel that same move as like oh man I'm like I I just want to blow them away whereas when he's playing like me or Magnus or Nepo like you can just see it like Nepo was like he just destroyed Nepo in in the uh Fisher random event like I mean he just ate up his soul like it was just horrible. Go here. Take with the bishop. Got to be a little bit careful. There's some tricks here with some checks and things. But now I have, a, I, have a, I also have a wooden shield as always. And now I'm going to bring the rook in. 
But yeah, Not Noterbeck is like really amazing though. I'm, I'm a big fan of him. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Checkmate. Okay, let's keep going. Being careful isn't being disrespectful. Fine, I'll just sack a pawn. He didn't take it. I don't care. Take your free pawn. I'm gonna even give you pawn odds. I'm gonna give you a handicap. So I I don't know. Like I, I would say that I think um I don't know who the toughest opponent would be. Wow. I'm gonna use the the the, the X combo. Let's just take. Wow, giving pawn us to twelve hundred. How how uh, how um how how brave? Yeah, right, let's just go here, castle, and just I'm gonna try to mate him in like three moves. Oh, I just I just made a huge blunder. You could have just played queen g four and carded. Okay. So bad, just so bad. Am I playing in the Al Maddie? I don't know. I don't know yet, you guys. We'll see. Who's the man? Who's the man? Would I ever collab with a real dude? Um, I mean, if he wasn't banned, probably, but he's banned, and just covering his game against Lupo got me banned from Twitch for a few days, so uh, probably not. Not unless YouTube wants to, like, offer me a ton of money to switch to, to YouTube, but probably not. Go Rook D5, King F7, Rook D8 here. Um, That's actually a good move. I have to play Bishop B5 to guard. Would I switch? Probably not, but you never know. Um, play e5 and h6, I guess. Maybe castles, too. Did I manage to get your trophy out of suitcase? I did, but it's... it's. I mean, it's... I'm just going to cast for the memes. I did, but it's like... it's. I, I don't even know where it's supposed to go. It just... It doesn't... It doesn't look like it fits in with all this great stuff. I'm like, this is like really classy, really fancy. I mean, it's nice. Um, it's not quite the same. Not quite the same. <laughs> it belongs to the toilet. <laughs> Go here. How is my brother doing these days? I don't know. I haven't spoken to my brother in a while. I think he's doing fine. Um, but I, I haven't spoken to him in a bit. Go here. Where is the Shungite? Yes, thank you. Go e4. I watch YouTube if I want to learn how to fix a toilet. That is true. That that it's like YouTube has all those all those sorts of videos. That's a good point. Um, where's the Fisher Random Trophy? Uh, it's it's actually on my my coffee table at my living room. That's where it is. Why is the car wearing the Florida Man shade? Scary. Is there something wrong with being a Florida man? I, I mean, is there something wrong with that? Because I'm not aware of that. Let's go g5 here. I think it's what I should eat up for the 15 months. Rook F8, I just take the bishop on E7. Um, let's just take the bishop. Is a hurricane affecting your area? Not exactly. I seem, it seems okay. I think there's the Dami for the six months. I don't know. Like it's, it's, it's sunny outside, or it was a second ago. Like, I don't know. Let me see if it still is. Let me see. Is it still sunny? Let me see. That looks sunny. Yeah, it's just completely sunny. Are you in Southern Florida? Yeah, I'm in Southern Florida. There are no, um, there, there, there's no such thing as hurricanes in Southern Florida. They, they only hit the Western side. Yeah. Why well, check outside if you can look it up? Yeah, it's, it looks it just looks nice and sunny. 
light breeze it looks like trees are moving a touch it doesn't look i mean it doesn't look bad at all yeah yeah i don't know i mean i i don't know i don't really believe in hurricanes i know i, I since i've been in florida as, off and on since 2014 i think there was only one really there was only one that was potentially really bad which was when i i was actually when i was in um i spent the world cup in uh i think in batumi or batumi georgia and it's like maybe that's like 2018 or something but there was we can see into your glasses okay okay but yeah since nine i there hasn't been like a real hurricane in, in like southern florida since like 1990 since hurricane um since hurricane what was that one the, the big one um hurricane um hurricane andrew right hurricane andrew jackson in 1992 i think it was um okay let's go bishop e3 here i have e5 i am just winning of course as always do I still live with my parents no of course I don't you guys oh I, I live in America not in Europe you only do that in Europe be serious I mean in America your parents kick you out of the house when you're 18 like that, that's just how it is it's normal to live with your parents not in the U.S. actually I mean nowadays of course because of the economy it's a little bit different to be fair but normally no like in the U.S. it's like you're 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 out you're out of there at 18. all right let's keep going let's play g4 let's play a grob yeah nowadays it's different because of course like with inflation and like the, the crazy housing prices and rent and everything now it's not I mean now actually people do it but like up until recently I feel like I feel like for the last like 20 25 years that wasn't actually the case but now I mean as 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 they say in New York the rent is too damn high so um I think actually it is happening more again thank you so much to Alexander Gamba for the three months appreciate it um let's go e4 here yeah probably it's common in um it's actually probably common in um in Asia too yeah but like I mean I'll like if, for chess like I, I mean I have to say like I'll give you an example of like a chess player has happened but there's this famous chess player from the United States of America Ray Robson and um uh you, you have Ray Robson and basically he's very talented junior but as soon as he turned 18 I think basically he he went to St. Louis University and his parents like left the country which is like insane like it's just crazy play Queen G4 here it, I think they moved to like Burma or one of those countries they just like they, they were in Florida they upped and left and he he went when he went to college which is brutal brutal thank you so much Jay Shaper for the uh 30 months it's been 92 in trade but he's still a puzzle rush god not quite 2700 well I guess he did just cross 2700 at least so that's that's good I guess I'll take with the king I'm gonna play like a bond cloud too but the thing is it's not really bond cloud because I'm just winning in the bond cloud you're not winning you're just you're hoping to make things a little bit hazy but in this case I'm actually just like winning out from the get-go the bishop e3 yeah I feel disrespected against the dude I'm not really I was actually kind of just confused because like you know when you're playing for fun like it, or a match is over like playing the bond cloud doing memes is fine but if Duda like Duda is a very strong chess player he's down 3-0 and he just kind of he just kind of was giving up so I didn't mind I was I mean it's like okay you want to do that and just lose be my guess um I was just confused more than anything more pieces on the e-file I've got what one two three I'll try to put a, a create a legendary triple maybe I can put all my pieces on the e-file maybe okay there's one more trying to put everything on the e-file wow he found queen f5 that's actually horribly annoying that's a great move I didn't think he would find queen f5 oh whoops I hung my bishop oh no actually I didn't I 
Um, what errors writes a question? He says, if he wins the Madrid's Canada tournament, but the million dollar question is whether a such a tournament could be won by someone who is so anxious to rush back to the hotel and grab his headphones and and uh, and mouse for another night of streaming. Um, well, I mean, it's, I still have some talent, at least, when it comes to the game of chess, so... Okay, let's go check. Was oh, there really no mate here? How is chess this entertaining? Chess is a very entertaining game. It's just... Uh, there has to be a certain mix. Like, it can't be, like, super proper, like, stuffy, top-level chess. Okay, let's play B4 again. I'm gonna try to push all my pawns. Let's see, can I get to 10 moves? I can probably get to 10 pawn moves, right? I mean, I'm literally pushing every pawn. Again, let's keep going. I want to make as many pawn moves as I can. That's 12. Can I get to 15? Okay, let's go. That's 13. Um, 14. Let's keep going. 15. Funny thing is my position's not all that bad either, which is pretty funny here. Unfortunately, now I have to. There was a game with 17 pawn moves in a Gadman Tours video. Okay, I'll try to get to 20. Let's see. Can I get to 20? I can't because he's going to take, right? He's going to take, I bet. Yeah, he's going to take. I can't I can't do it. Okay, 17. Yeah, now I have to now I have to actually play moves. Okay. Let's just take. Unfortunate. 17. 17 is a pretty good number to get to though. I might lose this game, although I don't think so. I think all my pieces are kind of coordinated, but we're playing a big bad 1300, so maybe he can do something. Maybe. Pretty unlikely, but maybe. You never know. The opponent's probably like WTF. Yeah, he's probably very confused. A big bad 1300. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I take with the knight, I guard the check, and already I'm just much better. He's got a weak king, I've got a great center. Target the knight. Let's uh, just take the rook, just like that. 17 pawn moves, and we win very easily in the next seven moves. What to say? Thanks so much to Six Sigma for the 15 months. Thanks so much to Six Sigma. Yeah, life is tough. Life is tough when you're 1300. It seems a much natural Hikaru. What do you mean? It seems more natural? Yeah. Now he realizes, he's like, what happened? Now he realizes. He's like, what just happened? How did I go from that to winning to losing? I'm a 1300. Am I bad? No, you're not bad. You're not bad. I'm just being disrespectful because I can. But Shaq can take. 